Who came up with WASD, and why was WASD the best keys for PC gaming? Almost every FPS or non-FPS game in 2020, WASD are the default movement keys. So who invented this, and why was it so good compared to other movement keys before? So the inventor of WASD was Dennis Fong, a professional Quake player back in 1996. His discovery of WASD propelled him to win every Quake tournament. So before Fong invented this method of moving, people were mostly all scrambled. Almost everyone had a different combination of keybinds they liked. No one ever used a mouse for gaming because no one could get used to them because mouse had to be a ball that you have to roll around on its axis back then. But Dennis put an end to that because he had an actual mouse which is now the norm obviously for gaming. Most people just use the arrow and number keys for movement and weapons because it's just way more simpler since FPS games were still pretty new back then. Fong noticed he could use the mouse instead of the keyboard to aim, so naturally the human hands land near WASD when you use the mouse. It feels most comfortable because it feels like your arms are on an armrest on a chair. WASD isn't too far from the mouse so you wouldn't stretch your arms that much but it wasn't too cramped either. Numbers were also located right above WASD, so that was another reason why Dennis chose this, to switch between weapons. Shift was the default run key back then too, and so instead of having shift from the arrow keys, shift was right below WASD, allowing you to press on it and press your other movement keys at the same time. Shift was also closest to WASD, so many players use that instead of ESDF or RDFG. Using WASD was also good for other things like abilities and games. The arrow keys didn't have any keys around them, but with WASD you had E for your index finger and most likely your default use button. Q and C are also popular keys for other things. It would be very hard to play for example Fortnite with arrow keys because what would you use to build? The mouse was the best thing to use to look around your screen and we can thank Dennis for that too. So how did this spiral into the default buttons in every FPS game today? Well, it just got so famous that every game had to adjust to it instead of the arrow keys because of how good Dennis performed in his tournaments. The mouse was also the default for aiming because, like I said earlier, it was a comfortable fit with WASD. Aiming on the mouse was also way more precise because you can aim to a specific spot. So the first games to adapt WASD was Half-Life and CSGO, which are two massive games still today. And it's what set the default binds and everything onward is mostly the same. I can't imagine a world with arrow keys for games, mainly due to it being hard to reach shift and the whole number pad. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.